Three major medical events shaped women's health research for generations. What I think of as the unholy trinity that effectively put women's health on hold for decades. The first was thalidomide, but equally significant was the second disaster, diethylstilbestrol, or DES. What started with good intentions turned into one of medicine's biggest mistakes, a truly troubling chapter in women's health, the impact of which we are still dealing with today. The story begins with well-intentioned science. In the 1940s, researchers hypothesized that miscarriages might be caused by insufficient estrogen. Without adequate clinical testing, DES was prescribed to pregnant women despite early studies in 1953 showing it was completely ineffective for preventing miscarriages. Then in 1971, the FDA finally issued a warning against DES use during pregnancy after researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital discovered an alarming connection. Young women between the ages 15 and 22 were developing a rare form of vaginal cancer called clear cell adenocarcinoma. The common threat their mothers had taken DES during pregnancy. These young girls were dubbed DES daughters and experienced higher rates of reproductive abnormalities and the rare vaginal cancer that led to the discovery. But it wasn't just the daughters, it was also the sons that were affected. DES sons faced increased risk of testicular abnormalities and possibly higher rates of certain cancers. There were even cases of DES grandchildren carrying on to the next generation of children. The health of which researchers are still evaluating. The DES tragedy fundamentally transformed drug regulation. It represented the first clearly identified transplacental carcinogen, a substance that could cross the placenta and cause cancer in offspring. What makes the DES story particularly heartbreaking is that it was completely preventable. The drug was prescribed for decades despite evidence it didn't work at all for its intended purpose, and the consequences are still unfolding for DES families today. Day. May is Women's Health Month, so we'll be highlighting stories like this all month long, ending with a very special and personal episode on our YouTube channel. So make sure to follow and subscribe to all our socials and our YouTube at Today Learn Science at TIL Science so you don't miss a single video.